Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to be talking about people's beauty. Their packaging is just beautiful. And I got all these products in PR, but I've been using them for about the past month and I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna share with you today what I got and what I've been using and how I've been using it and how their whole regime kind of works together. And we're just gonna walk through the products. So if you want to learn the ins and outs and my review on people's beauty, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to be talking about is actually their mask, and this is the Frontliner Mask and Scrub. Now this product is a really nice mask. It's very thin, actually, so you're supposed to apply it on like dry, clean skin, um, and then you let it sit for about 10 minutes and then rinse it off. And it does have, so it has their like triple molecular hyaluronic acid complex and their triple plant moisture complex and kaolin. And so, yeah, they use a bunch of different forms of hyaluronic hyaluronic acid so different sizes so they've got hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid and then just the larger chain sodium hyaluronate in there so it's got lots of um, hydrating molecules and then this also does have that kind of physical exfoliant that is the microcrystalline cellulose and this is not abrasive on the skin it just does you can feel it um, lots of different face products do use this cellulose ingredient because it is very gentle on the skin but does give you a bit of that physical action you know basically equivalent to like a cotton cloth um, to kind of scrub away uh, dry skin and dead skin cells and all of that jazz so I've been using this you know maybe once a week and it is quite nice and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry it does have kale and clay in here so it is kind of like yeah, a clay mask but it's very thin non-drying and my skin definitely does feel revitalized after using it um, and there's no fragrance in here at all but it does have extracts of grapefruit and peppermint and um yeah so those can have some i mean it is kind of a refreshing feeling on the face and then the grapefruit is great for like foliation yeah the triple plant complex is made out of this uh, pine mushroom extract and then cyclo seed extract and rhododendron chrysanthemum leaf extract so i guess they just found that these extracts have some benefit to the skin anyways but just a really nice mask basically so next I'm talking about their double duty amino gel face cleanser and makeup remover um, so I actually haven't used this to try and remove makeup I will use this as like a double cleanse or uh, just on its own like in the morning and it is really nice so they say it has amino acid cleansing agents salicylic acid and niacinamide so if you do have acne prone skin and if you just want to exfoliate a little bit with beta hydroxy acids this is a really nice product the salicylic acid and then also you know, the niacinamide is really great for if you do have um, acne prone skin or, you know, your pores can get clogged easily. So, and I really like the foam. So, this does not foam. I should not say foam, but the, like, when it suds up, it's really fine bubbles. Like, it doesn't get big and foamy. It's really fine and it feels really creamy on the skin. Um, so, it's a really nice one to use, actually. And it's a little bit different, different than, like, a gel cleanser. It has like a very kind of thick feeling in the beginning and then once you add water you got, you feel those like micro bubbles like come up and just really work to cleanse your skin. So I do like the formulation of this. I do think it's different than a lot of cleansers that you typically see because it's not really a gel cleanser. It is more just like a traditional cleanser but without the harsh detergents. So yeah, I really do like the, those micro bubbles as I believe they call it. So. After cleansing in this routine, they recommend following up with their essence. Now this is the triple hyaluronic acid essence toner and this also has that triple plant moisture complex that I mentioned um, when I was talking about the mask. So this one uh, is just, it reminds me of the Perito, I don't know what it is, the, the Centella, it's like a green glass bottle, that essence. And what I really like about this is just the viscosity of it. Here I'll show you. You can see how it's, well, let's see if you can see. It's not super runny, so you can put a decent amount into your the palm of your hand and then um, apply it to your skin and it's not gonna just like drip down your arms. It does have some good viscosity to it. And then it just, yeah, feels like water on your face. Very refreshing, very hydrating. Yeah, I mean, it does remind me of other K-Beauty essences 
it's just the typical format I guess uh, there but this is a really really nice one and all this packaging is glass so the cleanser is glass the toner is glass so then they say in this routine to like apply your serums um, and I do typically apply a serum after that but what I do have is their superfood facial dew and this is an oil so it has carrot seed oil argan oil grapeseed oil and honestly a ton of other oils let's see macadamia seed oil sunflower seed oil grapeseed oil sweet almond oil so if you are allergic to nuts this would not be good for you um olive oil argan oil carrot oil tocopherol metaphone seed oil did i say that one yeah anyway so just a really nice facial oil it has a nice thin texture it is not colored at all you know how sometimes oils can be a bit and you just need like two drops so i it's going to take me a while to get through this because this is a very big bottle of oil actually again glass packaging which is really nice and i love the gradient that they have going on here slightly nutty scent on the oil um but it does go into the skin very nicely so they recommend in this routine to moisturize and then top with an oil but i'm honestly not a fan of that i like to seal everything in with a moisturizer so i always go essence oil or essence serum if i'm using one and then oil and then their moisturizer and what i have noticed with this moisturizer so this is the ultra rich face cream and they do say that it's the trimolecular hyaluronic acid and shea butter now this cream is really lovely it's actually one of the lighter cream products that i have been using lately um and i find that if you're using like a bunch of ordinary for example water-based serums you know how when you can get that kind of um like it won't sink into your skin and it just kind of almost saponifies on the skin and gets white and it won't sink in i found that happens quite a bit with this if my skin is damp at all so i make sure that i've let my water-based serums sink in and topped with an oil then i will apply this but it is a really nice um, gel cream kind of texture more on the cream side but very thin uh, very nourishing long-lasting does give you a really nice kind of glow I have found with this one it can tend to be harder to sink in if I do have like really wet skin so this is definitely not a moisturizer that you can go from like damp skin to a moisturizer you need something in between like a serum that will set or an oil that will set and then you can definitely go in with this cream. Yeah, so overall I think the products are really nice. I do like the glass packaging, that is really cool. Um, aesthetically beautiful, you know, we've got this whole gradient thing going on. The products are very well formulated, I definitely can say that. And um, yeah, they've been leaving my skin feeling really nice and hydrated. And I think really the purpose of this line is to provide hydration and moisture to the skin. Um, I don't think that they're trying to target anything like you know uh, brightening or dark circles or pigmentation or you know I don't think they have any retinol products but I think they are a fairly new brand a uh, fairly new company so maybe they'll come out with some more stuff but from what I've tried which is basically their hydrating and moisturizing products they are excellent um, I think they would be actually really good for people with you know anywhere from dry normal to oily skin but I think they'd be really good for younger skin so if you're like 15 to 25, I think this is a really great uh, product range to try out. It is quite affordable and yeah, overall I just do think it's well formulated. So that's kind of my thoughts on the products. Um, I mean, out of all of them, if I had to pick a favorite, it would definitely be the Essence. I mean, the Essence and then I do really like the cream, but I just have so many creams. Um, I do like the oil, but I have so many oils. So I guess if I was going to pick two, I would definitely go for like the essence and then the mask it is just a really nice mask often clay masks are too drying on my skin as i do have really dry skin um, but this one does not dry me out and i like how thin it applies and it is a very thin formula so you don't get like this thick mask very easy to take off it's not going to take you ages to take off so out of the whole line i think these are two of my favorites um, but I do love all the products and I'm definitely going to use them all up. So yeah, that is my thoughts on People's Beauty. I think it's a great brand. I do think that it's well-priced and I do like their approach to skincare. I like that they are still using hyaluronic acid and they're using it um, in three different forms to ensure like good hydration and non-sensitivity and everything. And then, you know, of course, everyone's got to put their own spin on a plant extract complex and all of that. And I'm sure theirs is great. And they do say it's like for moisture and everything i'm sure it's great but the focus really for this is you know they do have some great ingredients in the cleanser for acne prone skin salicylic acid niacinamide hyaluronic acid is great and then yeah shea butter in the face cream beautiful oils in the oil so overall the products are well formulated 
Um, it's definitely not like a super, you know, going out of the mold brand, but I do think it's a really good brand and that it's well formulated and well done. So that is my thoughts on People Beauty. Let me know if you have tried out any of the products um, and if there's any other brands that you want me to try out and review, I would love to do that for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.